what is popping y'all so today we about to hop into this video by most amazing top 10 this is top 10 secret videos that should not be seen part two so without further ado y'all let's hop straight into this video there are too many videos on the internet to try and watch them all but that's okay because some videos just should never be seen by anyone from creepy confessions to unsettling found footage of a bunch of teens before they went missing we'll be covering these and more only on today's top 10 oh, list starting off this no. countdown we have Oh, I don't like this. Oh. She ran. Oh, she's down here. <laughs> what the fuck did I click on? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't like this. I don't like suspense. I don't like it. 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 Scare me already. Scare me already. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Um Is she okay? Jesus, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh my god, I was waiting for her head to pop up and it did. I don't like that. I feel like she stole my soul or something. Like those evil eyes. What is that? I literally, so I heard somewhere that it's supposed to be like in purgatory and like every day she's repeating oh the same god. thing, you know, repeating those scary little lines. Whatever she's saying, somebody comment down below and let me know what on earth she's saying because that creeps me out. But then she just puts her head in the soup and she comes up and repeat, repeat, repeat. I don't like that. I feel like she literally like took a piece of my soul. Coming in at number nine. Bro, what? Smart. I would let them come to me. Just remote area. <clears throat> Time to go to a remote area that's not anywhere near where you live. But that other people go to as well. Is he a killer? Like how he lured people to a remote area? Also, why is he just casually eating his muffin and coffee while talking about this? Ugh, can you not? Because exactly he's... There's not as much to choose from in a manner of speaking. There's also no witnesses, really. That is the oh, mind a of a psycho. He is, but he for sure is a killer. So apparently that was a man named Israel Keys, and I that's his tell. confession to the police. Just casually sipping a cup of coffee, eating a muffin, telling how he would lure his victims out to a remote area so he doesn't get caught. It's creepy i don't like it coming in at number eight we have the found footage so according to this next video on december 15th 2008 four 17 year old boys in england were reported missing by their families the four had gone out together but then they never returned home the families had no clue where they went or what happened to them then on december 17th they were found dead in the car that they were driving the car was abandoned oh. at a farm 10 miles away from their hometown to this day it still remains a mystery in their car they found a video camera on it, they documented their last hours. Someone tell me a joke to cheer me up. Knock, knock. Who's there? I don't know. I'm really lost. <laughs> <laughs> we are actually now lost. <laughs> we pulled over because we know where we are. And we've been driving down this road for about a f***ing hour now. James's GPS and his phone has stopped working. It's it's random, random. Does it even say what time it is? My phone is just... Yeah, I'm scared because there are no lights in any direction. So in the video, you can see the boys driving around and they get lost. Towards the end of the video, it gets weirder and weirder. Don't James, point the camera at me. Just... James, just give me the... What are you doing? Turn it back on. No, it's not me. I, I, I can't... Turn, turn the turn bloody lights on! What does that sound? What? Oh, what's that? This video was apparently released so that others can try to make sense of it and figure out what happened to the boys that night. Also, some people say that it's just fake and that it's an artistic production. And at number seven, we have Mark Saylor. Okay. So I know it's not a video, but honestly, this absolutely deserves a spot on this list. I'm not going to play the audio for you because it's just a little too disturbing to put it on here for you. If you're brave enough, look it up on your own time. In August of mm -mm. 2009, Mark Saylor, <laughs> his wife, 
Their daughter, I'm good. Paula, and his wife's brother named Chris were all traveling in a car together. It was a car that they had loaned from a local dealership. As they were traveling the car, it began to go increasingly faster and faster, but the brakes were not working. The audio is the call to 911 that Mark made, and it's extremely <laughs> horrifying. The car unfortunately ended up crashing, and the accident took the lives of all passengers. Now, there's been a bunch of theories behind this bizarre incident because the car was too damaged for anyone to be able to figure out if this happened because of manufacturing error or if it was planned. But for now, it seems like the accelerator was stuck and that's why the car couldn't stop. Needless to say, it was a Damn. very, very tragic accident. And at number six, we have the Station Nightclub Fire. On the evening of February 20th, 2003, a fire broke out at a nightclub. More than 100 people were engulfed in the flames, including one of the guitarists that was playing that night. Oh, that is a horrible people were death. This video was taken by someone who witnessed this tragic uh. event. It was then posted to YouTube as a PSA to show just how fast fire can spread. So the fire was caused by some pyrotechnics. This ignited some acoustic foam and then the fire spread Ooh. very fast. In the video, you can see the fire get worse and worse by the seconds and the smoke getting heavier and heavier. Sadly, a lot of people there passed away that night because everyone rushed towards the exit and this created a human pileup. Like I said, this is now used as a PSA Ooh. to warn people as to what to do during a fire, which is remain calm and head to the exits in an orderly fashion. A pile up though. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark. Where's my husband? Aww. Was that his door open? Oh, honey, get out of your house. His dog knows that something is up. His dog's literally whining. And then the door opened. Yo, listen to your dog. Get the hell out of your house. Oh, something's gonna pop up there. No! no. You need to no. know. Okay. Holy water. Get your Bible out. You need to leave ASAP. And the fact that they caught that on a Zoom call, that's so creepy. Like, if I watched that, I'd be like, oh, no. School's done. Class done for the day. I've seen enough. I was trying to say, what if the dog opened the door? Because my dog does that all the time. Hell, the wrong thing, but I'm not afraid of murder. Hell, hell, you restrict somebody from it, they're going to want it more. We found our victim, and sad as it may be, she's our friend. But you know what? We all have to make sacrifices. Our first victim is going to be Cassie's daughter. She's going to be alone. On September 22nd, 2006, Cassie Joe's daughter was killed at her aunt's house by her two friends and school classmates, Brian Draper and Tori Admin. Ooh. That night, Cassie invited her boyfriend and the two boys over to watch a movie. When the movie was done, the two boys left the house, but they unlocked the basement door so that they could re-enter the house later on. That night, when Cassie was home alone, they re-entered the house and killed her. This video was taken a day before they took Cassie's life, and then after they did. September 22nd, 2006. We know there's lots of doors. There, there's lots of places to hide. I locked the back doors. That's all locked. Now we just gotta wait. I just killed Cassie. We just left her house. This is not a f***ing joke. I'm shaking. I stabbed her in the throat and I saw her lifeless body just disappear. Dude, oh I just killed God. Cassie. Oh, oh f That felt like it wasn't real. I mean, it went by so fast. Shut the up, we gotta get our act straight. Okay. It's a very hard <laughs> video to sit what? through and watch. And then later, police found this video and used it as evidence to convict the two of the crime. And at number three, we have the security cam TikTok. This TikTok comes from the user oh Matt Hall 36 This video was posted from a night when he was at work. Wherever he works he has security cameras confession. that beep when they sense motion. And when he heard the beeping late at night, he was super confused, but went to check it out. That is when he saw something kind of strange and decided to call 911 just in case. Dragging a bag at my work. No, sorry, I'm just recording. As he's on the phone with emergency services, he sees a man run towards the building. <laughs> See, oh my God. 
He's, he's outside the door. He's obviously absolutely freaking out, which I mean, I would be in that situation. Luckily, Matt ends up being totally fine, aside from being a little shaken up. Once the police arrived, the man had fled, but he left a bag that he was dragging around. Once searched, the police explained that it most likely just had clothes in it, but some of them were bloody. So, you know, they definitely were looking further into that. And at number two we have, God, this is like the movie Sinister. <sighs> oh no, no, a real possession? There's no oh, way. Oh, come on, oh, oh hell no. Uh -uh. Oh, hell no, he's possessed. Okay, we get it, we get it. Yeah, that's possession at its finest. Okay, yeah, I've seen enough. <laughs> oh my Lord. Oh, I don't like that in my ears. I don't like that. Uh-uh. I don't like hearing that. I don't think I should be looking at that. If he pops up and I fall off this block again, so help me. That looks real. Like, normally I'm, like, trying to debunk all these things, and I'm like, okay, possession, sure. No, those cut marks and that wound looked real. Oh, no. I feel like I'm like cursed or something. We should keep like holy water in the studio. Just do a little after we're done. <laughs> She's so like, dramatic. A little, little, like Febreze, <laughs> but just holy water. And in our number one spot, we have my sister. And I don't literally mean my sister. I don't have one. Okay, I don't know what's happening here, but I honestly wish I never came across this video. So it starts off with a girl in what looks like a wedding dress turning around to show us her super creepy and super still smile. Oh, I don't want to see that. Come on, come on with it. Come on, come on with it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> she basically just continues staring and smiling at the camera for a while and then turns around and walks back down the hall for a bit before repeating the exact same process over and over. Two more times, just in two different outfits. Nothing crazy, just a lot of bad energy. But then she reaches towards her face and takes off a mask that she's been wearing this whole time to reveal her face, which honestly, doesn't feel Still any looks less creepy. creepy. Then there's yeah. like this weird montage of her eating different foods that it just makes me so uncomfortable. So I'm not uh, gonna show you yeah, that yeah, part. Yeah, but right yeah, before the yeah. video ends, we see I'm her uncomfortable do just looking else. at that. She's tugging at her chin to show us that she's wearing another mask. Why? How? Who are you? I've got a lot of questions. And I hate this video. Also, she's the master of disguise. Just putting that out there. Alright, guys, that's all for today's video. If you like this video, Bro, the smallest things freak me out. I don't like freaky shit. I don't like scary shit. I don't like possession. I don't like seeing people just like acting weird on camera. I don't like none of that. Like, oh my God, dude. <sighs> I hate that shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video. Bye.